<laughs> no, now I'm agreeing with him. Yeah, yeah, you're agreeing with him, not in the best of way. <laughs> I'm just trying my best to uh, let him down the best way I can. Yeah. Are we but, you know. Oh, right, it's going to be oh, have no, fun, have fun. Oh, oh, I guess yeah. we're playing live then. I guess I played Dust 2. That's an interesting pit, but it's going to be a B rush. And uh, I don't know what they're doing. It looks like the entire Heaven's Gate team's rushing B as well. I'm surprised they're playing Dusty, but Condone will get the first pick on towards Diamond. XJ is picking up Xenu. Adam picking up Curtis. This is uh, not going too well. As Mikey and Adam pick up the last two frags as well on towards Father and Phil. Well, that's the first round going over towards Heaven's Gate. So is this like the official map they're playing, Dusty? Well, okay then. Well, that's, that's all right. Right. Well, I think one round can really determine the overall results of this game. No one tried to disagree. Oh, with the recording joke's going in. Jesus, all right. Now then. Well, you know what? It's uh, Dust 2. It's very T-sided, so hopefully Racknet can pick up quite a few rounds. So Adam's going to be playing with the Mag 7 over on towards B, but it looks like Racknet's aiming towards the A bomb site. They're all stacked outside of Long at the moment. We may be seeing some aggression coming out from Mikey, picking up the first frag on towards Local. He's tagged down to 18 HP low. He's got Greats to come support him. Greats picks up Daramir, and you will get Mikey as he plays a bit too aggressively, but Greats will be trading on towards Xenu. Yikes, now Philip will be picking up greats, but now it's the two versus three, and it's not looking too positive with the current economical situation. Philip has got long control, Curtis can be getting taken out by Exodus, and that's all on Philip. One versus three. Yikes. Well, he's going to be watching the flank, but he's going to get. Oh, the Mag 7's range, what was that? Adam kills him long range with the Mag 7. Yikes. Welcome to CB. Best game. Zoinks. <laughs> oh, are we, I wonder if they're going to be doing any, um, like, gladiator or something. So far, they seem like they're just doing, like, some scrappy buy. Looks like we're going to see a mid rush come out as uh, Father Local picks up XDOs. Adam was going with him, but Adam still got his Mag 7. He's going to be playing towards the uh, B upper tunnels and rotating around that area. Xenu will be there though, and it's going to be like a short tunnels push. I think they're going to double peak them. Well, Adam's going to be taking out Father. Come on, not where's his support? Where it doesn't exist. But Adam, uh, Condone will be killing Daramir. Curtis going to be picking up Adam and Condone. So now it's on. Greats and Mikey versus Xenu, Curtis and Philip. Now it's so a two versus three for HG and they may be losing their first round here if the retake doesn't turn out too well. But Xenu and Philip are very low on HP at the moment. So how are you feeling so far, Bulk? Um I don't I don't really know. I think I think the game's already been summed up to be fair. I think Heaven, Heaven's Gate has already taken Taking well, a win. <laughs> Philip just got taken by Grace. That's all on Xenu and Curtis. And, uh, well, no, Mikey's going to be taking out Curtis and Xenu, and that should be the round. Though no, diffusing's broken in this game, they cannot find the. Where's the bomb? Oh, is it under Philip's dead body? Oh, no, there it is. Oh, they finally found the bomb, but I. No, they don't have time. So uh, it looks like Cracknet's going to be picking up their first round, unless the bomb's been fixed. Well, rip Heaven's Gate gonna be picking up that round as well. Um, Yikes! I just got fully curbed, by the way. Yeah, you did. Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> the game started going Very on, convenient. so and, yeah, you, you're quite slow. You, you're quite slow. But yeah, so uh, you can give us some call outs now. You can get. You, do you want to take over for this round? Oh, no, no, you, no. You, you can do no, the, uh, no, the first you? half. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're so you want to comment? Mention. Alright, okay. Alright, so you, you want to see how uh, HG does on T-Side, Is that going to be your domain, yeah? Yeah, that's going to be my domain. Yeah, alright, alright. Well, it looks like Father Local and um, Curtis have gone AFK. No, oh, no. Uh, Father's back. Curtis still seems to be a bit AFK. Mid-stack coming through. Oh, there you go. D-Doolies. Condone will pick up Xenu. Darren are going to be killing Adam. 
Well, we've got rifles over towards A, but I think the mid players were just pushing with pistol. I don't know how seriously they're taking the game at the moment. But uh, no, if they go B now, they do have the bomb site to themselves. They've only got XDO to worry about in CT. I mean, it looks like they're thinking of going A through short. If they can get, if they can get a couple first picks here, they will be able to push out quite reasonably. But, hmm. <laughs> Alright, we're going to see how this turns out now. Darren going to be taking out XGO. Darren going to be picking up greats as well. He's getting two kills on the entry there. Calm down, calm down. Any more? This may... This is looking quite positive. Darren is stepping up for his team at the moment. He knows this one towards plant. He's dropped down into pit now, so he's going to be having to worry about Mikey down in pit. But Condone's going to be picking up another one with the D. Three versus two now for Heaven's Gate, and they've got to move fast because the bomb timer is a lot shorter than on CS. And as I said, this is going to be uh, Mikey pushing up the be engaging in a battle. Darren going to pick up Condone and Philip will be picking up Mikey. Darren here with four kills there. He's the one who really opened that round up for Racknet, stepping up for the. And that's going to be their first round for T side. Yikes. Yikes. There hasn't been an XM yet, but there's been a, uh, you know, a lovely little Mag 7 kill or two, but, you know, stuff happens. There a though, he did step up through his team. Uh, not too sure how the comms will be looking, but. I hope it's not too loud or argumentative, as Adam's going to be trying to hold down the B bomb site. He's not going to really be dealing with anybody low, but if we want to see how... Well, none of them are watching short, actually. So it's going to be on Greats, who's going to be watching getting spotted. Greats will be picking up Philip to start off with, and that he should be calling for his teammates to help out or play some aggression towards short, as Condone is up mid. He does get tagged down a bit, though. And it looks like it's going to be a B split, but he does have Adam over on towards window. But he's going to be getting taken out by Curtis, as it's going to be three members from Racknet rushing B from tunnels. Let's see how this one turns out. Condoned. I think he's unaware, but he does pick up Father Local on the first. And his teammates are already in a retake position. They haven't got a bomb down either, but Damo will be taken out Condoned. Greats will take out Zinu, Xios, Xios going for the knife kill. Oh, Xios, nice, Daramir. <laughs> Yikes, as Greats picks up Curtis. That's a round for Heaven's Gate. Oh, dear, oh, dear. oh, my. Yikes, that's the second time Daramir got knifed in a tournament. And it was, oh, yike. <laughs> Ouchies, that's getting clipped. That is getting clipped. Ooh. Exodus did whiff, but ah fuck! Oh, the night kill. No, that's not very nice. It's just disrespectful at this point. How are we going to be talking about this? We got some random guy talking about the commentary. Like, feel free to do some commentary if you want, mate. You try and commentate Roblox with enthusiasm. That's that's all I've got to ask of you. Uh, but it's going to be long push from Racknet. Damn it! Can get the first entry on towards Mikey. Going to be Sergeant and Curtis picking up on Condone and Greats as well. Oh, so it's all an Exodus and Adam now. The two rank G E S E A plays. Exodus is going to be on the flank, and Adam, he's in T spawn. <laughs> I think Heaven's Gate's throwing this round away. I'm not too sure if they're going to go for the retake or not. They're both in T spawn. PG 13? Oh, what did I say wrong? Might have been me. I don't know. You, you can take over now, but since they're just throwing in T spawn, you can go give your opinion. Oh, well, I do want to mention um, the T's. Basically, how they're playing, they're not really doing any sight fakes or anything like that. They seem to be grouping up and playing. Uh, they'll all rush together. They'll all rotate together as a group. And I think, it, as it is, it's very good to use in this game. It's a very fast-paced game. You can get from one side to the other. The problem is with that is that the characters are so blocky. It's so blocky. They're all going together. all go shot. They can just get drilled into so easily. Um, and I think they need to start spreading out more and using more of the map instead of clumping up together mm. and um, and going all to the same place. Like, they could try B split, for example, but no, they're just plowing all one place and getting drilled up the arse. I think that I mean, might be, like, a mental blockade. Yeah. Like, yeah. they might they might not feel like they've got the confidence to take full-on straight angels, but as I say, that diamond is going to wall-bank headshot, excuse me. 
Oh, that's a nice start off. Here we go. Yeah, sit and disagree with everything. I agree. <laughs> Yikes, though. Uh, well, it's like you said, though. They're not playing, like, too bunched up now. Oh, no, no, no. We'll start the stacking mid again. But Condone's going to be picking up Fav and Philip will take out Adam in response. Oh, they're scouting. Heaven's Gate's not even doing full buys. They're not using their utility as much. I've got Philip pick. But uh, Darume is getting another orb kill. Can you get any wool? Yep. Oh, Kondo get the first frag on towards Philip. they holding down that B bomb site. What's he doing? How's he, how's he going to try and play this one out? Because he's getting tagged down. His teammates are pushing. Great. This is, he's pushed down into CT, but... We want to see how Kondo plays his eye. Kondo made his way outside the doors. He's going to pick up greats, though. Smart play from Condone though, he went out the doors, now he's got Darumay and Curtis, now it's a one versus one between Condone and Xenu. And Condone, he's got plenty of time on the clock. He's... he's going to spawn <laughs> He's going to spawn <laughs> Yikes. He's, he's got... okay, so um... Xenu's everyone towards B, clearing the site. Condone... is this Heaven's Gate? Throw Yeah, uh, if we can spectate over towards Condone, he's he's long at the moment, and Xenu is he just planted big. I think he's a bit lost. <laughs> he seems a bit lost, doesn't he? Oh no, here we go. Hmm, beautiful. Well, Condone's on a retake position now. We might have a third round for Rackner. I mean, he's taken his sweet sweet time. He could have just flanked Xenu from mid. But... Uh, oh, Xenu catches him when he's looking away. The timing gets him, and that's going to be another round on towards Racknet. Four to three. Well, the 16-2 predictions are finished, boys, so I'm afraid that's off the table for now. <laughs> oh, yikes. He wins these? Yeah, he wins those. Macro user wins. Xenu, uh, no... The reason they're bouncing is because they're using FPS on Knocker, and when you jump, it just constantly jumps, so that's why I don't recommend using it. By the way, Heaven's Gate, three man stacking. Eo, Exios! Oh! Alright, Scout mid pick on Daramir. Adam's gonna be picking up farther towards Long as well. Well, it is a long push coming out from Rackner. I'm gonna see if they're gonna have any success. The enemy team does have a lot of orps and scouts, and Adam's gonna be picking up Philip as well. He does have his teammates to support, but he will be getting him before the smoke pops fully. Oh, it's a two versus four now for Curtis and Zoom. Head top pops. Head top pops. Maybe. Head your head top. Yeah, I'm not saying it again. <laughs> I'm not saying it again. But yeah, no, uh, we've got Exios watching the behind as well. Oh, barely misses his shot over on toward Curtis. Uh, they're, not, they're not in the best of situations at the moment. They're getting pushed in, they've got to do something soon. Now, so just start getting pushed. See, you're going to be getting taken out by Mikey as well. So now it's all on Pro Dive. Curtis. And he 1v4. He does pick up great. Played it peaking aggressively, but now he's tagged down to 12 HP. Bulk, bulk it's your turn. Uh, your turn. Go on, go on, Bulk. Do you what? Wait, what's the man doing? Take then? over, take over, take over. Okay, okay so we've got Pro Time and the man. He's shooting down long. He's really not going to get a kill here because obviously the XTOS is behind him. He's going to get the. Something gun headshot. I can't really tell what that's. <laughs> it's a P2000. It's a P2000. Yeah, I didn't hear gun <laughs> but You don't really know what they've got, you know, because broken specs it. But I do want to make a couple of comments. Um, got it again, way. like okay. I'm saying about the T side, they're playing like absolute dog. Um, they're not doing any. <laughs> they're not doing any side Yikes, fakes. Okay. Like I'm saying, they keep clinging up together, and they don't have any map confidence. They will. They will always go together and rely on each other to move around the map. They will not go independently and, you know, move around independently and try and get uh, picks that Funny way. that you're saying that. They're doing a five-man rush B right now. So yeah. let's see how Adam responds. He's all pink window at the moment, trying to hold side by himself. He gets the first pick on towards Father. He's going to be diamond picking up Condone. Adam with another pick. Exo is going to be uh, catching up on towards Sergeant Philip. And look, that's just stopped them in their tracks. Xenu's mid. Darum is going to keep the ball. They communicate and exist. Like, Xenu does pick up... Mikey, but Adam's going to pick up us, and it's all on Daramir in a one versus three. Adam's watching the Angry Orp. The game lag for me. Um, he used to use NA servers. I can't see what... Exos is going for the knife kill. He nearly gets it. Daramir no scopes him or quick scopes him with a headshot to save his life. But Adam's going as well. Daramir picks him up as well, and that's all on greats. 
Yikes, they're going for the knife kills. They're not even trying that hard. They just want the knife kill. Well, Grace is holding the angle. Darame is going to peek it and... Something can Yeah, good. This is a point. Uh, Grace is going to get caught off mm. and Darame takes him out, clutching out the round 1v3. Yikes. Oh, mm. my. If you yeah, notice, clip it, clip it. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Mm. If you do notice in that round, as Xenio did go mid and he split away from his team. Yeah. He kept Grace watching mid for a long time because he thought that someone else was going to pick. Yeah. And that is the exact thing that then it then would be doing. Then it would be splitting apart the T side so they can pick them apart one by one and eventually take a side and really confuse them on where they are. Because right now, as soon as one of them peaks B, they instantly know they're all B. And, you know, it's how they're going to instantly lose um, this half of the game. Mm. Yeah, carry on. Yeah, my apologies. I was just trying to go with my chat. So Grace gonna be picking up Curtis first off for the Deagle. Uh, that was everyone for long. Uh, and once again, they're, they're kind of bunched up. Like they're all playing in like a triangle at the moment. And Darren, he did pick up Adam, but Grace picked up Bob. It's really not helping them out. As Grace picks up Curtis as well. And Z, he trades on towards Grace, which is quite fair. Condone gonna be getting taken out by Darren. See, like this is them playing individually, but Darren's gonna get flanked. I don't think he sees Exios coming. And Zini's just somewhere out completely, but oh, damn it, he nearly turns on Exodus, but Exodus is going to be taking him out. And Zini's going to be pushing from short, but Exodus seems to be aware. And Exodus, he's going to fall to Zinu. Now it's all on Mikey in a one versus one. Five to four, though, they're holding up very well, considering how T sided this man. Zini's just running off to B. Uh, yeah, he's bouncing. He needs to turn off that FPS unlocker. Yikes, that's why you don't use it, kid. NA scene right there. Yeah, it's, FPS it's actually, pretty, um, it's actually pretty OP, the, uh, the bouncing thing. Um, I used it once in a matchmaking thing, and this guy missed his scout, mm -hmm. and I, I got a pick on him. It's, <laughs> I don't know why I mentioned this, it's quite funny. See, if anything, the bouncing gives you an advantage. And Zini's playing in tons. And Mikey's, well, he knows his tons, he's planted for it. And Zinu, he's not peeking it, and he peeks it. Oh, and he kills Mikey, fair enough. Zinu, one versus two clutch. Well played, well played. That was a very good pick to say the AK has got an instant mm. headshot. Mikey was watching the angle as well, but you could say mm. that's the, um, you know, peak is advantage. Mm. That's quite heavy on Roblox, especially with his, like, eight tick servers. <laughs> eight tick. I, it's I, eight or sixteen. It's one of them. Okay. <laughs> it's not very good, oh, to say the least. But you know, five five. I mean, it's looking more even than you'd expect. But Heaven's Gate has gone for like knife kills and stuff, so you can't say they're exactly trying. Okay, uh, Bulk, you take oh. over for me. I need to respond to it. Oh, blue. Yeah, okay. You haven't really put me in the best position to uh, take over this game, but I will try my best. Um, it looks like we've got a short push going on, so I'm not exactly prepared for this. It looks like they're going to take three shots, and they're going to get... Oh, my days! Oh, what was that? I do not I... know what that was, but it was something that we have never seen before. Alien technology has been invented, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> they like just, just got get... three free haircuts in a row, <laughs> £10 each. Down your local shop, sent to the shops, go and get a cuddy, bring me one back, and that's it. They're gone home. <laughs> They've gone home. In a bit. Did Mikey get a deagle collar? Or, I think or... he did, yeah. Well, oh, Father's going to be picking it. Right, so it's Condone playing smart again. Um, well, it might actually work out for him because Father is actually backing off towards the. Wait, triple collar? No. Okay. <laughs> Well then, all right. Oh. Well, Condone got that pick on towards Father as Final well. Final free air cut. <laughs> Six Christ. five in favour of Heaven's Gate. It's a lot more competitive than everybody like initially expected it to be, right? But at the same time, you you could argue that for... you could. I think there is a bit a bit of a throwing mentality there because some of the things that they are doing are really not normal. We'll say. Um, mm. But somehow they're still picking up rounds, especially when it's a T-sided yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, especially. Really? Yeah, that, yeah. that does. That's quite important. It's mainly clutch rounds they're pulling off with as well, which is reasonably impressive. And they do have a lot of CS:GO positioning, as you can tell. That like, it's quite a CS experienced team, uh, with Daramir probably being the most experienced CS player for Rackhead. 
Oh, we've got the juniors down there. Yeah, XTJ's. Oh, he nearly picks up too, but you know, it's a doolies. Oh, yikes. This isn't looking out well, especially when da uh, Adam picks up two with the AWP as well. That's going to be Philip and Miner down in the ground. Yikes. All right, Xenu and Father. Do you reckon they can clutch this? Two um, pairs of doolies. Two pairs of doolies. Xenu, just pick up Adam. That that's fair. It's very it's interesting awful. kill, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> Flying jewelries. Okay, cool. I mean, yeah. it's actually reasonably possible. If they can get this pick on towards Condone, they could have potentially won the round. Miggy. Oh, 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 that's not Miggy. Not exactly playing smart. Great, this is 14 HP. Yeah, no, they're playing one at a time. Uh, Zini's playing the op, a bit too passive, and I think this round's definitely going to go to a Unless they just completely throw it away. Yeah, abso absolutely. But there, they definitely should have played the AWP peeking first instead of the Jews, mm. knowing that there would be people there uh, waiting for them on the other side. Yeah, definitely. Uh, really, I just don't think they're in the right minds to be playing uh, this game right now. Cause it must be, mm. It's either they're really bad or on two hours sleep, and I hope it's two hours sleep. Because... You know, it's, it's not looking very good for their strategy. I mean, it's looking... It is looking like quite an entertaining game. We have seen some funny knife kills <laughs> coming out, so... Knife <laughs> kills, deagle collapse, haircuts all around. It's what you want to see, though. It's entertaining content. It's Ooh. an entertaining game to what? He doesn't want to see Darren again, no. <laughs> That's true, Darren is like, I'm the only person to knife him in the tournament. Well, XJ's joined that today as Adam picks up yeah. one, Mikey gonna be picking up two as well. And Mikey picking up the third, can he get the fourth here? Or is that going to be lost to XDOS or condone towards middle? Yikes, Philip, he's hiding. Like, just what? Oh, and <laughs> condone's gonna be taking him out. Absolutely dominated that round. <laughs> Big choke on long there. Oh, uh, I think I yeah. why push long and the same results keep coming out. It's either heavy casualties yeah. or total obliteration. Um, or they just get trapped there and then eventually get flanked and they're forced to uh, either move or die. Mm. Um, so I don't know why they keep trying to push long when they have such a strong hold on it and they should be trying. Oh, I think Mikey's hinting. To, he said his picture of Rem is sick. He may be on about his Discord picture or he might be using it as a crosser and Adam does get the first pick on towards Darame. Now, Darame is probably not too happy about that, but um... Probably. There's like a little bit of a weeb chat going on at the moment, so I'm not too sure. But Exos did pick up ZZ with the P2000. Curtis will trade on towards him. Great, he's going to be getting the counter trade. And then, it's just it's just a bunch of trades going on and off here. It's not too much of it. But Philip will be picking up Adam and Mikey. Will be trading. Uh, there's just so many trades. I mean, it's a 1v1 mm -hmm. opportunity. Father and Mikey. Mikey's dropped down and Mikey's getting the kill. 9 5 in favour of Heaven's Gate. Jesus. Uh, Squid. It, please do not tell me how to comment. You of all people. Keep that to yourself. You know, I hate it when people do that. I want to smack them. It's harder than you think when it's a bunch of blocky characters that are running everywhere. If it was CSGO, I'd be having a much better time. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'd keep an eye on everyone, but as soon as you spectate someone else, you're the one's gone on a toddle. Yeah. It's not very optimised, is it? No. But yeah, x -series, I think he's just going PG5. They're, to, they're just rushing up for knife kills, but you know, <laughs> Philip's going to be punishing for that getting two, and Father will pick up on over on towards Great. But as you said, they're still playing like bunched up together. It's like they're scared to take Angel. Mikey with the Nova. He's trying to pick him off. He got the dualies as well. Mikey came prepared. Uh, he's going to be facing off against two to three. Uh, the, oh, oh, so it looks like Mikey and Kondo came to a mutual agreement. That Condone can go T spawn, Mikey will go pick up Darimir with Dooley's mix. Ah, oh, well, the bomb is planted over on towards A, so they should have a decent chance. I mean, Condone's flanking, but Zinu's slow as well. Right, so Curtis does pick up Mikey, but I'm not sure if they're going to see Condone walking out of long here. Two of them 15 HP, and Condone picks up Philip. Now, Curtis is low, but Zinu and Father have full HP, so they could just go for a straight. Trade and double peak them, but Condone will be picking up Curtis with a little one tap, and Father will be taking out Condone in response. Good half, 9 6, 9 6. Wow. I mean, I, I, I could say that I'm surprised.
has been such a close fight, but it's just been a throw fest, I think, for Heaven's Gate. I don't think they really care about what's going on. But uh, now that we're on T side, uh, Heaven's Gate, I think they should just be an absolute clean up of free air cuts with the AKs. Uh, I I can see how. Uh, I think Greats is the one trying the hardest actually out of his team at the moment. Should we, um, should we look at the lead? Well, I can go. Well, I mean, it's quite irrelevant as Philip picks up Adam on overall towards mid. So, oh, they're playing Leapfrog down middle. So oh, they were playing Leap. They were playing Leapfrog out of Suicide, but now they're all stat mid X, so he's going to be pick up Philip. Right, now it's a 4 versus 4. The, the Glocks don't have the best advantage, but because it does do such a compact map, like these close aim tools towards CT, Usually the Glocks can win them, but Curtis picking up Exodus, Mikey taking out Darame, Xenu on towards Mikey, and Condone picking up Xenu. It's, it's been quite equal at the moment, to be honest. I mean, you've got Greats and Condone playing like off of each other. You've got Father's over towards T. Now it's a one on one. Now it's Greats and Father local, right? Oh, 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 they left the bomb T spot. They left the bomb T spot. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool. Uh, so, yeah, so Fab has got the bomb at the moment, and Greats is in a one versus one. You treat it a bit like a retake. I think Greats oh, Fuzz! Oh, I, I see Fuzz in the chat. Fuzz is an OG roadmap. Why? Oh, what's going to happen here? Uh, oh, well, I think Greats kind of knows he's. Oh, no, catches him off guard. That was quite smart from Fab. He just hit down. Abusing the fact there's a fire on the car so we can't see. Yikes. You, you didn't see him at all. Oh, oh yikes. Yeah, right. Finally, oh. the lead, but everything looks quite even. Darame at Yeah, no, literally versus... everybody's got very even. There's yeah. no one sided carry. Like, everyone's score is around the same. The, the lowest score is XDA is from 17. Yeah, that's. Uh, the that's highest fine. being greats of 28, but then Darame is on. Tw everyone's got really similar scores. Yeah, surprisingly close. It looks like they're going to try and cross with some very interesting uh, tactics. Yeah, it looks, it like, looks like they're doing the two-one-two and Philip yeah. playing aggressive and short. And what the hell is going on? At what long is long? going I'm on? Quite long confused. Long what, oh, they're trying to put a boost. They don't really know what's going on. Uh, there's really. an invisible it's... box there. That's not too yeah. good. Oh, they're trying to boost. <laughs> they're doing all sorts of illegal boosts. Oh, oh hey, can we can we go oh. spectate the heavens gate <laughs> team, please? Um, oh dear, oh okay. dear, it's happening. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I don't think. Up, like. I'm fairly sure you can't do this on CSGO, so uh, I, I don't think that's allowed. And then you look at Racknet, they're all playing so defensively in proper position. And, well, you know that's what? Heaven's Gate's pushing sure. now. So I think we're going to be seeing how Philip responds. He's on 14 HP with the Mag 7, going to be getting taken out by Exos. Daramir would be the only man to hold down the A site, and Mikey's going to be giving him a clean headshot with a Deagle. Gets great with the scalp, that's kind of about it. Daramir is really disappointed with where he died from. Father gonna be mag sevening Adam. Exos gonna be holding short with the mag seven. And Father getting another kill with the mag seven. Look he's gonna be taking out Exos. That's all uncondoned. And he's gonna be getting taken out by the mag seven. Father local 3k headshots with the mag seven. That was a big turnaround in that in that round. Jeez. Came out now nowhere. Frost should be quite concerned because you know both teams are throwing. But it, and it's really easy. I guess that's what makes it quite even, you know. They're both throwing, you know. <laughs> this makes it competitive. I don't think Ragnar is throwing as much. Uh, definitely. Hold on, why have we all gone silent? Though? What's happened? He's probably replying to his girl on Snapchat. Hey, oh, hey, 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 Bringing a clustered push too long. Looks like they're all trying to use pistols here. Yep, looks like it's a pistol push. They do find someone. Well, they don't really find him, but they do have contact with him. I can't really come to him because I'm not that fast. Um, okay, they've got five local and Darame trying to counter that, but it looks like they are going to be doing something called a long push because I can't really spectate properly. Anyway, so if we look at this, um, we're going to have... Con I can't do this. I can't okay, I'll do it. It's going to be a long push from Happens Game, but Darame's going to be uh, picking up to Philip too as well. And Darame finished the round off with the third kill. Two man hold from long, and it turned out reasonably well against all sorts of guns coming out from Heaven's Gate, okay? Right. Sense there. There we go.
I was bloody moving like me granddad trying to get out of his chair. He loves his chair. What am I on about? Mm. One thing you do need to fix is uh, the spectate, though. You can only spectate one way, so you got to scroll through everyone. Uh, that is reasonably <laughs> tricky, but at the same time, if you do first person, you have like a good idea of where they're going. Like, I've got a good idea. There's uh, multiple Heaven's Gate players rushing along, so they threw their you can't name anyone. clocks. No, not really, unless you like directly spectate them. They should have names above heads to make it a bit easier. But no, it's going to be a mid stack from Heaven's Gate. It looks like they're going to be doing it in. Now, see, this is what they weren't doing. They, like, Rack there wasn't splitting their plays up that much. Heaven's Gate, they're not splitting up too much either, but they're, they're watching more angles than anticipated. They've definitely got the spacing, so they can all push. Yeah, the same yeah they've got the spacing. They spacing. Um. Oh, that now, the thing is, the well. EMU's playing a really passive position, but they're all pushing out from short there. And so I just see Scout, and next save gets, he did get two with the Scout, that's a bit embarrassing, but Mikey picking up Curtis as well. Philip will be taking out Mikey, but it's not looking too promising at the moment, as Great takes out Xenu. So it's going to be on Philip in a one on three at the moment, and he's going to be getting taken out by Adam the Scout. Nasty, yeah, cut that Those one. are a lot of ouches. Daramir going G repeaks. Uh, I don't think he's pleased about them. You can, you can definitely tell the difference between teams handle the T side of this game because, have you said, the, have you said the the compact map of Dust Two does really take a toll um, when you're trying to push your site. Yeah. But they really deal with it well. Uh, for example, on mid, which we saw, they spaced out very well, holding different angles, making sure that everything was covered. So if anyone peeks, they would get a straight haircut, and it would be a full-on trim. Wouldn't be under that half stuff. Uh, looks like it's going to be a mid push again. Looks like Adam does take out Daramir there. But Daramir, that's all right. Um, okay, Sheldon Field does take out Exios. I'm very slow. Here. I do apologise. Oh, sorry, it's great. Can't really do this. Pick up Philip. So we've got Adam over on towards short here, and he's going to be competing with two CTs now because one of them got a friend, and Adam's deciding to run away a bit. But Great is going to be picking up Father Local, while Curtis and Zinu are playing together on short. Adam will be getting taken out by Curtis, but now it's Great and Condoned take Curtis and Zinu 2v2. Condoned does get caught in the flank though, so now it's all on Great's 34 HP. His opponents do have full HP. But he has an AK and that, that one head shot potential from you too, though, to be honest. Low HP versus big HP. We're going to be seeing what's going on here. Yeah, Xenio and Greats are going to meet there. Xenio and Greats are going to be able to get an easy pick. Okay. Yeah, they did have two people. Did so yeah, it's yeah. tied 10 10, so you know. It's... Tied 10 10, that is very unexpected, to be honest. Yeah, uh, lots of people like expected teams, a stomp first. Yeah, both teams seem to be taking this quite seriously now. Uh, I haven't seen much uh, throwing or any any weird stuff going now, on. Now, with Heaven's Gate, they're not doing, like, throwing, like, completely. They're just not buying properly. The scouts, SMGs, Deagles, they don't care. They just buy whatever. And Adam mm. will be taking out Xenu straight away on towards mid. Now, that's the number advantage gone for the CT. Well, oh, sorry, that's, that's the number push. advantage for the T side. It's gone down, picks up Father Local as well. You see what I mean? They've got. Now, they've got. I see, like, two Deagles and two AK. Uh, oh. Two Deagles, two AKs, and an AWP. As Curtis picks up Mikey, Philip will be taking out Exios as well. Great. We'll be trading on towards Philip. But he's gonna have to worry about two people in CT as Curtis picks off Adam a little headshot with the getting his little shot, headshot man. percentage going up there. It is, but the smoke is gonna be cutting them off. Now it's a one versus two and it's a famous and an AK versus an AWP. Now Curtis he's gonna be going on towards short, but he might have to be dealing with perhaps aggression? No. They're playing See. quite passively. The CTs have been actually putting a lot of aggression into short, I've noticed. Uh, mm quite a lot yeah which i don't see i think it's just a high advantage them stairs are so steep it's easy to get hair <laughs> that's what yeah. they call it they call it the haircut yeah yeah you know i'll allow that i mean i think uh, it's, he's just going to go save he's saving the up he's gone to go save Terrorists win. so you know 11 10 in favor of heaven's gate
don't, I'm going to be honest, I don't really see um, Heaven's Gate really falling behind in rounds. If no. That makes sense. I would have, no, I, I don't really see it happening. I, I still think that they'll stay on top because they've definitely played as a better team throughout this whole game. Um, I do think that. Um... I think the com I think the difference here, right, is chemistry, right? So Heaven's yeah. Gate, they're playing well together, okay? Like they're playing as a team. Racknet, they're playing in teams of two or threes, okay? They're not playing together. Yeah. They're, they're they're not a team. They're a couple of little squads. I haven't seen you We're getting the first pick. We'll be getting taken out by Exodus. We're great picking up his teammate and Mikey picking up. Curtis in response on mid. Now they're having the confidence from Racknet de la Verde. They're pushing multiple places at once. Daramir picking up Exios, but that's not going to be enough to turn the round over. It's great to pick up Daramir. Now it's all on Father Local over on Towards Long. Xenu has left the server. <laughs> it's great to pick up Father Local. Now, I don't know if that's a rage quit. I think it, it might be in Brazilian ping. It might be. It yeah. might be ping. He might be disqual. He might have disconnected. If Curtis said Xenu man. I think that's a rage quit coming out from Xenu. Yeah, Xenu left. Yeah, his teammates are saying, oh, he left. Yeah, that's a rage quit from Xenu. Rage quit in Horacel, by the way. Ooh. Yikes. <laughs> that, that's that's a well-deserved yikes. Um, I don't know if he's going to be coming back. He might. Uh, I wouldn't recommend leaving in a tournament match. Um, but, you oh, know. It looks like they're going to try and boost up onto Shark here. Yeah, yeah I don't really... Is the problem? That boost up well, basically. Too long. I don't really want. To... Oh no, no no no! You're doing me a favour here, actually. Ah, okay, I'm doing you a favour. Right, looks like Grits is going to be putting the bomb down on B. It might be picking up Sergeant Philip there. What we're going to see? Um, um, looks like they are playing very confident, moving into CT spawn. Um, literally, really leaving the bomb behind. But it looks like Barrel right. local. Okay, uh, before the says it's from behind. Situation. With the bomb plant, uh, Adam playing mid, that's pivotal for their information plays because they know exactly where they're coming from. And Father is probably for now. I mean, he's not hes not going to come pull this off. He doesn't have the time. And they're hunting him down. They're just hunting him down. Adam's watching along. Great's playing. A, uh, he's playing aggro CT. Ooh. And right well, he, do, he does die to Father in the end, but that's just... 13, 10 of maybe 16, 10 now. Oh dear. I think, I think this might be, I think, uh, 10 rounds. Oh, choke X oh yeah, I forgot Exodus is streaming the game. Uh, Exodus is, Exodus is playing Osu at the same time. Oh, well, um, what a legend. What an absolute legend. Wait, if we look at the scoreboard again, it looks like Greats will be picking up a lot of kills, getting 21, but it does look like Rebel is catching up there. Okay, so uh, all I know them. is that they're playing Osu, and that's, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's not very nice. But Mikey with a 3k over on towards Long, he's doing this by himself. He wants the ace, he gets four. Oh, wait, what's saying he gets four? I'm, I'm retarded. Okay, whatever, Condone steals his ace. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that Zinu you left for half a second there. Brain brain dead, brain dead uh, commentator moment there. Yeah, My I bad. feel a bit sorry for a Daramir personally, getting knifed, but still managing to carry with 20, 20 kills, yeah. 6 assists. Uh, actually, if we want to talk as the only one sporting, at least like half a positive KD. Uh, Zinu's finally rejoined, but it's a little bit late, I think. 14 yeah. 10. Yeah, um, okay, well, mm. not the best. Is it time for the GG's in this chat? Is it, time? it may be, I mean, it looks let's like the get okay definitely now. Down. Um, yeah, Exio's taken out Daramir as well. That sends Daramir negative. I, it's, it's not looking very positive at all here for no. Ragnar. Exio's just throws the up ways. I don't want that. Kurt is going to be taking out Exio slow. Mikey taking short. Now, this is just then they're playing separately like they're taking different spots on the map they're playing for control father does pick up mikey though punishing him for his solo plays but they're doing what racknet didn't they're playing spread out they're just playing spread out so yeah it seems to work on this too as well or any map for that matter if you can confuse your opponents yeah. then, uh, not only that if you can get that pick somewhere else you have the advantage in the game but father gonna be getting traded out by 
Calm down after picking him up. <laughs> Philip, just take Calm down. Adam going to oh. be taking out Curtis and Philip Lowe, and that's going to be the round match point for Heaven's Gate. Are we seeing a 16-10? Are we going to see a 16-10? Or are we feeling something else? Well, it's very it's very common in CS and um, CB for people to like choke at late game uh, when scores mm. can be... Uh, five, six, seven rounds apart, but I doubt that will happen with Heaven's Gate with their um, overall experience and chemistry, like you mentioned. I think they'll just take it away. Yeah, I think chemistry is the big thing here. Yeah, it, de it definitely is. And map confidence as well. They seem to be very no, confident no. playing with us too. Um, they seem to be very... No, 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 no. I think with Heaven's Gate, because they're, they, they've they got that feeling that they're invincible to every other team. So yeah. they play with absolute confidence that they'll win anything. And Racknet, they've got pressure on them because everyone talks about how great Heaven's Gate is. But no, Racknet is trying to fight against that. But that's like a mental pressure that means we've got to really do well. Meanwhile, Heaven's Gate's more of a relaxed way of playing. He's really doing the wonders. No, so it's two versus three. And if you, you can see, Adam and Mikey are just <laughs> jumping from punishing Mikey and Adam, but that's just the throat fest, I mean, they're just, they're just throwing. But I think as the underdogs, like you said, they do feel that yeah. pressure, and I guess yeah, that's why they were clumping up and relying on each other, because they were like, oh my god, if I die, that, that could be over. Um, yeah. You know, it all, it all kind of slots in together, really. Chemistry. Now, especially and... now at match point, they're feeling the pressure. I know Zine, you definitely does not want to lose this game to Grip. He just doesn't. And Zine's going to be going for the mid pick. Let's see how he does. I'm going to spectate him in first. And he's no contest toward uh, Heaven's Gate. Oh, they're all in T spawn, to be honest. <laughs> So they're doing so they're doing something similar to what Outlaws did in when we just threw loads of smoke grenades over on towards A and Mirage. They're just smoking off T-Sport. <laughs> expect that in EU, by the way. Lots of smokes getting thrown. But yeah, they're just hiding in T-Sport at the moment, and they may have people playing aggressively. <laughs> he's, he's uh, Great, great is the one trying the most at the moment as he's looking for active defense frags over on towards the long, while his teammates are having some sort of rave in the smoke and he's having a nice little rave. They're enjoying, them. they're having, you know, they're having a good time. They're listening to some music, playing some music. Uh, nothing too stressful. The Zexios is rushing with a Glock, going to get taken mm. out by Sergeant Philip. Yeah, and they're going over on towards B, so let's see who's going to be holding the B bomb site, and it's going to be Xenu. Hmm. Now, uh, Xenu is... I don't know why he's not on top of the wall there, just watching straight down from the box, but he spots them. He's going to be picking up greats first off. Any more defense frags, but he's going to be getting pushed. He's going to get Adam condoned. We'll get the trade, but those two frags are very important as Curtis Ooh. picks up two more, and that will be another round for Racknet. Now, Heaven's Gate did say they will... Give them 15-15, but I do. I don't think. I don't. I don't think they're going to do that. I think they're going to try and finish off the round now. I feel like that might be a bit. They dangerous. said they're securing a 16-12. So. So this, uh, I guess this is it. The final rounds of the GGs, or is it? I don't know. We we could see a uh, a spark of confidence. Um, okay, we're going to we see will. if a 16-12 comes out here, so... Uh, yeah, they're playing aggressive. Xenu does out peak XS mid lane. Mikey going to get the first pick on towards Philip, towards Longler. That's going to be the first entry, neutralising the number advantage. And a flash from Car. that's information given. Greats will be watching that angle. We've got and, three of them out Well, no one's actually Car, so that's some false information there. And they're trying to get Xenu boosted onto site, but he finally manages after some difficulty. And he's going to be watching towards Long. And he will be picking up greats. Now, if they can stop the 16-12, there's that meme gone. That meme will not exist anymore, okay? But Adam will be taking out Xenu. Xenu was strafing a little bit too much. And Adam's playing in pit with Mikey Sport Condone. He's playing aggressively over towards Short as well. And he's going to be taking out Diamond and Pro Diamond. Now it's on the farther local. He has to stop the 16-12. Can he do it? One versus no, three. No, we can't. can't. Mikey takes him out. 16-12 for heaven's game. 
Yeah, that, that's a GG right there. You definitely saw in the last round, uh, Racknet put an all or nothing mentality on as they did place four people onto long as they did see that push. Kind of how Heaven's Gate would play most of their uh, most of their CT uh, round. But yeah, it looks like it didn't come out come out good for him. But yeah, nasty game.